This fella resembles a drunk bastard at a nightclub. But he's like, give us a kiss. The turtle says, I don't know you. I prefer to take things slowly. And that is a face of instant regret. He is going to be cringing when he sobers up and thinks back on this behaviour tomorrow morning. He went too far. He did. This news reporter is trying to show off his big black chicken. The thing is, the big black chicken does not want to be on TV or be a celebrity. So it says, fuck this, I'm out of here. The news reporter runs off like a bitch. Oh dear. This parrot is being forced to listen to the Titanic theme song. It's thinking, this is not the music of my people. I can't relate to this shit. I feel nothing. I gotta make it stop. And he does. The violinist is currently being butchered. That is incredibly harsh feedback. Seriously, I think there's been a murder. The parrot doesn't give a fuck. He's not gonna run away or hide out. He just goes back to his favourite spot and enjoys the silence. How are you going, Mr. Elephant? You want me to wash your trunk? You need to look clean for the tourists. Mr. Elephant says, get fucked. This young human has been left unsupervised in a paddock. Actually, no, he hasn't. His parents are supervising through their phones. Classic modern parenting. Let's see if he's about to make a new friend like he's in a happy Disney film. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. The cow says, fuck off. Get off my lawn, says this walrus elephant seal motherfucker. She is sick of people using her territory for free parking. She's complained to the council, she's written letters to the local newspaper, but everyone keeps parking near her house because it's close to the fucking train station. So this behaviour is fair enough. Here's a man who enjoys going bareback with horses he picks up in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. Let's see if that works for him. It doesn't. It doesn't work for him at all. Are you not entertained? Why don't you dickheads jump in the ring? Come on, I'll sit in the crowd with a beer and a hot dog and you can go down there and fucking fight each other. Go on, down you go, down you go. Here's a shepherd that's working hard to get a bunch of sheep to go somewhere they probably don't really want to go. They can see this dashboard camera filming them, so they decide it's the perfect time to start an uprising. The shepherd is yelling, stop giving them the bloody media attention. Turn off your camera. What's next? You're going to give them access to the bloody internet? The sheep look like they're free. Oh, no, look, they go back for one last. It appears to be a day like any other day at the hairdressers. Gary's getting a trim. Oh no, it's not a regular day. An angry customer has burst in. He's like, Oi, the haircut you gave me this morning is shit. It looked good in the mirrors here, but when I got home, I could see it was patchy. The hairdresser says, You had plenty of opportunities to give me feedback. The deer replies, Oh, is that how it is? Fine. One star Google review for you. I'm going to Tony's down the road. He'll fix it. This is a smooth smooth landing. There appears to be no sign of life. Scratch that. It's a planet of kangaroos or just Australia. They're hostile wankers. This one is yelling, get out of here, mate. You've landed in the wrong part of the bush. You have one hour to piss off. Yeah, fucking kangaroos. Meanwhile, in India, Pro Kabaddi is on hold and buffalo racing has taken off. No one asked the buffalo how they feel about it, though. Bam! We hope you enjoy your stay in destination. Fucked, fellas. That's how they feel about it. This rhino is having a graze, sniffing some grass. All of a sudden, a car interrupts mealtime. The rhino is like, no, 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 we won't have any of that around here. Off you go. Back to the car park. Go back to that thing you call a road. That's your territory. We let you build those without resistance. The unspoken rule being you don't cross over to the grass. You know this, human. You know this. I'm going to spin you around in a 360 to teach you a lesson. Off you go. Go on. Off you. There's the road. There's the road. There's the road. Actually, I'll give you a roly poly as well just to teach you a lesson again. Thank you for traveling with Rhino Express. I've added 20 loyalty points to your card. Don't ever come back. This is not going to end well. Provoking prehistoric creatures never ends well. Oh, the alligator showed restraint. He's like, you're lucky human. Kapow, I'm in a good mood. I slept well. I've had a swim. I've had a root. I'll let you off with a bitch slap. The ocean is always looking for a chance to fight back. Don't stand next to it. 
Please don't be messing with another alligator or crocodile or prehistoric creature in general. What is this monster of the deep? Oh, it's a squirrel! It doesn't want to be saved either. It's like typical human assuming I'm in danger when I'm just taking a dip to cool down. Don't use me to feel good about yourself like you've done something productive with your day. This is bullshit. I'm going to rip off your face, karate. Get back here. Don't you run. This elephant is fed up. You can tell it's listening to Rage Against the Machine in its head phones. They look slow and dopey, but it doesn't mean you can take advantage of them. They have their limits and so they should. So they bloody well should. There was a lot of monkey business going on in Thailand a few months ago. Using a pandemic as an opportunity to fight back against humans is a clever idea. These cheeky bastards have been waiting for a year like 2020 for a long time. We all know Planet of the Apes is a documentary. Deep down, we've always known it's a doco. Finally, here's a crap on a dick. I don't know how it got on the dick. I don't know why it wants the dick, but it is a crab on a dick. And you know what? I'm I'm kind of done. I don't want to see how this concludes. He's touching it. He's touching. Don't touch. Yeah, this bloke is crossing the road to go get the newspaper. Here comes the local cow. How about a fucking lift, mate? This cow is starting a new transportation business and he's looking for customers. He is sick of tuk-tuks having a monopoly on this town. Fair enough. This hippo is like, hi, how's it going? I'm Shirley, and I'll be your new fucking tour guide! Nah, just kidding, guys. Have a good one. Please do feed the animals, especially the bloody lions. This guy is doing some weekend renovations. He's showing the audience how to dig a hole. Oh, but look out! There's a cranky cobra! He is pissed off. He's like, mate, you bashed in the wall to my fucking theatre room. I was watching John Wick. Now the guy has managed to pick up the snake and is putting on some form of puppet show. It looks like they're gonna be friends. That's bloody good stuff. I think this cow could be dead. No! It's definitely alive. My sources can confirm it is alive and kicking. There's no need to say allegedly this is a confirmation. This human is like, what have you got there? A baby. Do you mind if we run some tests on it? The mother thinks about it and she kicks him in the balls. That's a confirmed no. He heads for the exit. This fisherman is going home to cook a grand feast. No! The fish has knocked him out cold. Wowie, bring the fish a UFC contract. That was fucking spot on. Now the fisherman has no choice but to be dragged away like a United Airlines passenger. <laughs> yeah, I reckon we can get another week out of those United jobs. Nice dance, Ellie. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> 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 